So something I've been thinking about recently um, is this boom that we're having in self-development and personal development and bettering ourselves, whether it be through diet or more exercise or improving our emotional intelligence or building resilience. Um, and I for one think it's great that this industry is booming, that people are taking a real interest in um, bettering themselves as human beings. Fantastic. Like the world needs so much more of that. Uh, but it also occurs to me that there's a big gap potentially that we're not looking at yet and and there's a huge opportunity here and that is that if you have all of these individuals that are doing the work on themselves and and working out how to be better human beings what does that look like when we come together when we organize and when we gather together in groups because what I see happening very very often is that people go through this transformative experience you know they've worked on their communication style they've they've gone through this program and out the other side of it they're saying we I, I'm a better person as a result but I'm not seeing a tangible shift in the behavior and how they interact with others what I'm seeing is that there's still this expectation that you as an individual will speak to me as I need to be spoken to and, and will work with me in a way that I'm still comfortable with um, rather than necessarily meeting others where they're at. And I think that's the big gap. So all very well to go and work on ourselves, but really that transformation should be about, well, how do we then work together in groups? And that's more about how I meet somebody at the level that they're at, rather than them necessarily coming to me in a way that I'm comfortable or I'm familiar with. Um, or in a way that is in line with all of this new knowledge that I've found. So it's something that continues to fascinate me. I, um, I came across a little meme that somebody had sent me just last week and they talked about um, self-care, self-soothing and structural care and the difference between those three things. Um, and so, you know, self-soothing is very much the Netflix and chocolate, which I'm sure all of us are familiar with to some degree. Self-care is doing those things that are really important to us as individuals, like our finances, that maybe it's not the most fun that week. And then this concept of structural care. And what does it look like to build structures, to build society in a way where people can live and interact as fulfilled human beings? And I think that's the gap that we've really got to go after now. We have a huge wealth of people that are prepared to help us as individuals. Let's take that next step and say, okay, so what does it look like to organize ourselves at scale? Maybe we can start to stem the tide of people who are leaving organizations feeling disenchanted and starting their own thing to, to get some degree of freedom and control back in their lives. And actually, if we were building a way for people to interact that meant that they could get purpose and they could get fulfillment in a large organization then that would have a, a, a real effect because on some way i guess i in some level i believe that ultimately human beings are going to have to organize ourselves on a scale that's greater than two five twenty even a couple of hundred people that's not going away and so let's go after that gap around how we're interacting as more fulfilled, more, uh, more capable human beings as a whole, rather than simply focusing on the individual improvement. I think that's where the real opportunity lies. I'm Danelle uh, from Tribe Leadership Retreats. Drop us a line below, leave a comment. Love to hear your feedback and hear your thoughts.